Hi, I'm Dan from AppLand, and I'm going to demonstrate how you can use app maps to understand an unfamiliar code base and get productive within minutes. I'll be using an open source extension for Visual Studio Code called AppMap and the e-commerce Rails application Solidus as an example. AppMap works by recording the code execution paths of your app. A good way to create app maps is by recording unit, functional, or integration test cases. To start my exploration, I recorded Solidus's entire suite of RSpec tests. For instructions on how to easily create app map recordings, search app map in Visual Studio Code or on the Visual Studio Code marketplace. For this scenario, I need to know how image upload works. I've run a test that uploads images of items for sale. An app map of the application was recorded during the test run. Let's open it. Here is a dependency map recorded from my test. It shows all the major components called during the test and their interdependencies. Despite knowing nothing about this app, I can instantly see that there is a web service endpoint responsible for uploading images, that there is a controller that handles the requests, and I can see that it interacts with CanCan for authorization, Paperclip for handling of image attachments, and other supporting packages that I can drill down to. I can also see that the controller and CanCan were the only components that directly interacted with the SQL database. It's worth noting that the dependency graph looks very clean, without loops or excessive connections, free from the obvious hallmarks of poorly designed code. Let's focus on the image controller. We see that the create function was called during the image upload. Let's drill down. From the function details, I can open the source and inspect the code directly without having to search in the files. A quick look reveals that a lot of functionality is performed by other surrounding code. Instead of introspecting each related source to find out what goes on, let's return to the app map and inspect the code and data flow there. The event list captures all invocations of this function in the test. In this case, the function has been called just once. Let's drill into the function call event. The event details show in-out parameters and a list of surrounding events. While the list is useful, it's even better to understand how the code flows in a big picture. The trace view shows that. What we see here is the function call in the context of the entire test trace. The create function was called in response to the post call by the Rails framework. We can see that the first call from the function is the authorized call to CanCan, asking for authorization to create a new image. Next to it is the trace of our CanCan implementation. I make a note to dive into this section later for details on how authorization works. After the authorization, the trace shows that the code fetches item details from the database, then calls functions in Polyamorous, Paperclip, Terrapin, and a few others before the new image record gets inserted into the database. We could spend more time exploring the dependency map and the trace view, but let me show you a different flow that focuses on SQL commands first and then backtracks to upstream code. Let's go back to the dependency map, pick the database, and review the list of SQL commands. I'm interested in understanding what code modifies data in the database. Let's find any insert or update in the list and drill down into the details. We see that the new image metadata is inserted into the spree assets table. Let's view the insert command in the trace now. The trace reveals how the insert is connected to the entire code flow. I can click on the caller to navigate to the function call that initiated the insert. It's the create function of the controller, which is called during the web service post call. I can inspect the request and response parameters of the web service call in the trace and continue following the data flow from here. So in a few minutes, I've learned how image upload works, what services, classes, packages, and SQL operations are executed during image upload. When I make updates to the code, I can rerun the tests and see how my changes affect the flow and dependencies. For more information on how to use AppMap to review code security, performance, and maintainability, visit appland.com videos. To give us feedback, visit us in Discord, or find us on Twitter at Land of Apps, all one word. You can find full usage instructions on the AppMap page in the Visual Studio Code Marketplace. Thanks for watching.